Oh, hello, didn't see you there. Today I'll make it cozy. We're gonna enjoy a clean cup of coffee. Yeah, it's good. It's good. All right, let's check this out. So I got the uh, I got the coffee grinder. This is uh, industrial, right? So uh, it came from the beanery, the local beanery, and unfortunately they went out of business. So they had the yeah they had the auction, and I looked these guys up. They go like brand new. They went for like over a grand, depending on where you got it from. So I picked this guy up for seventy five bucks. Pretty excited about that. We're gonna be grinding beans all day, every day, not really. But we have the capabilities, but it is pretty nasty. So let's check this out. Oh man, look at all this. Ugh. Oh, it's crusty, it's nasty. All right, I'm going here too. This little, uh, this isn't a hopper, but the hopper goes on top. Uh, but it's, it's pretty gross. And let's see, let's take a look under the hood. Yuck. All right, first things first, let's power this guy up, see if it works. That's a plus. Ooh. Get this set screw. Or not a set screw, but. This guy right here. That's just coming off. Perfect. Okay. Oh, gross. There's like a. Some rat fur. Maybe that's why they went out of business. There were too many rats. That's alright, though. Oh, there's like beans stuck under here. So I got three screws here. I'll stick those there. So this thing just kind of. All right. So does this come off yet? No. Okay. So there's the dingle hopper, and then more beans. It's 100% Colombian, yo. All right. So how does this come off? Is this just? I don't want to cross thread it. Come on now. I lost count too. I lost count of how many revolutions. Oh, well that's easy. Oh yeah. It's just like years of beans. It's like whenever you go to the excavation site and you see like, you know, there's like the dinosaur bones and like the Roman foot or whatever. Well, you can see that in the beans. It's pretty gross. Let's put this on the, uh, to be clean pile. We'll put a little skirt on it. You know what I mean? Like, well, you know how when you go to the doctor and they give you that little skirt to wear for like your butt? Oh, there you go. There's the culprit right there. See, it was like grinding up against this beam, but not in a good way. So this just unscrewed from right here, right? No big deal. But this thing's spinning with the motor, which, I mean, thankfully the bearing doesn't seem like that's bad. But we got to get... Be free! Be free! Drink coffee and be merry. Do a lefty. Go lefty. That's all good. All right. Let's move this guy. Here. Loosen the beans. All right, we're good. We're good there. I wonder if I gotta like dismantle this whole thing. Oh wait, no, I had it right the first time. There we go. Loosen up those beans. Drink your food. I had a friend in high school. She was like, I don't, even, I don't drink coffee. And we're like, what? This is high school, man. You're gonna go to college? How are you gonna stay awake? And she was like, I don't drink my food. <laughs> All right. Can I take this? Can I take this out? Or do I have to do the whole thing? Uh, I don't know. Like, what if you need to replace the burrs? Does this come out as one piece? Or does it, you think that like this would come out by itself? Unless it just needs to be uh, loosened. That's why I brought in this. I figured I was gonna run into problems here. Bloop. There's one. All right, I'm gonna segregate that from the long one because they look like the same, they got the same head. Grab your beer, check out this head. I'm gonna need to get the vacuum here, dude. Does this piece come off? Is this gonna be a problem? Maybe. More beans! Oh, imagine that. There's more beans holding up. Oh, whoa, that's a big screw. Oh, and it's a washer. Okay, let's not lose that. Have to vacuum that thing out too. 82, 84. That's how many beans went through this guy. From cradle to the grave. All right, let's see what's under here. Oh, see, the skirt is working. See, there's the mess. 
All right, in the pursuit to uh, advance, I have removed the four screws that are holding the base. So let's take a look. It's probably like, yeah, just what I expected. <laughs> Disgusting. So if I had to guess, this is a massive capacitor. Uh, that goes for motor stuff. There are two long screws right here, which is probably what I need to take apart here and here. There's a massive motor. There's some connections here. I want to be careful not to kill myself because I did just plug this in to make sure that it ran. And I see that I dropped the phone. This goes to the switch right here. So switch to power goes to the switch. Uh, there's some leads to the capacitor, to the motor, and whatever this thing is. What is this, like a fuse? It's got to be a fuse. Yuck. Okay, thanks to my Shabori napkin and a little bit of mechanical agitation, I was able to get the bottom burr out. Uh, this is just the hex bolt that was on top of this guy. So at this point, I am quite literally using a knife to carve or whittle the coffee away and then it just kind of falls away like you're carving a wooden duck or something uh it shouldn't be like this folks it should not be like this you gotta respect your coffee man you gotta respect the machine you know what i mean i'm glad i'm glad i spent 75 dollars on this i gotta bring new life i gotta bring breathe new life into this machine so that i can enjoy my coffee Look at this. Oh, yuck. So while the other burrs are soaking, I tried to loosen this guy up and successfully I did. Uh, I just used some pliers and just held the lever right here uh, stationary just so this part could come off and this just unscrewed, no big deal. Uh, so I'm kind of hoping that this comes with it. And it does, which is nice. So the next, oh, well, let's see. Next comes this piece, which has a key, I guess. Anyways, that part comes off next. And then hopefully, oh, that part doesn't come up. Of course it doesn't. It's probably like one of the grotier things, but I think, think let's see that might not even matter because i might just be able to get in there with the scraper and then just start cleaning it out and then she's like a wet hot rag to get in there so let's uh come back and hopefully we can start reassembling this guy so funny enough the bottom section that attached to the motor was not one piece to be replaced it was just the burr it was just so caked on with junk. This bit right here was actually the caked up part that was in between this brassy looking bronze piece and the actual burr itself. So I went back through with the other one uh, with the top portion and I took that piece off as well and cleaned it up. So the other pieces are cleaning up very nicely. Here's the bottom ding dong right there. And then the little screwy bit that went with it. There we go. Cleaned up all the burrs and the associated parts, and we are ready to reassemble. So now that we are ready to reassemble, one thing that I realized, and hopefully this helps somebody else, is that these big bolts right here are for the motor mount. I was wondering why this was having such difficulty staying put. Not mounted. It's been so freely now. It's, it's beautiful. It's so beautiful. Oh, wait. Yeah, that piece goes in. Like keys or guys. So that'll go, that'll trail. And then this piece goes right here. The lid for this guy and the hopper, I just stuck in the dishwasher. It was dishwasher safe anyways, as it should be, being 
an industrial model. And then this guy, they already stuck back on here. All right, so we got everything back on. We got the piece. And this guy can now move after I push the little button. So I can make it a little bit coarser. I can come over here and make it a little bit uh, not coarse, the opposite of coarse. Fine, you want it to be fine, nice and fine. So I'm gonna live, I can go back, and this guy. Boom, I can go back. Let's give it the old. Stop room. And clean, which is nice. We want it to be clean. Boom. We got that Texas tea up in my cup. About to anyways. This is the Texas pecan from uh, H-E-B. Let's get about 80 up in there. Look at there, see? Yeah, I did 85.4. I just did the whole bag. I imagine there's gonna be losses uh, into the system. I mean, we saw how corroded and, well, not corroded, but just grody it was. So uh, yeah, let's go ahead and... This is just uh, this is just tofu, tofu case, but it's plastic, so you know what? Reuse, 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 and all that good stuff. You know what? Let's just put that right here. Boom. All right. I got the grind set. I got the hopper ready. This thing is on. Let's open up the chute and get grinding. Let's wind it down. Wind down. You're up tight. Oh yeah, here we go. Ooh, that's a that's a pretty consistent grind right there. Let's get let's get. Oh yeah, look at that. I'm gonna be drinking my breakfast. Fantastic. Let's get it under the light. Let's get the glamour shot. Whoa, easy there, little guy. We'll pad it like a canoe. Whoa. Take me out to sea. The dark sea. The coffee sea. Oh yeah, look at that. If I could do that in slow motion, where like the coffee beans rain down on you, you know what I mean? It's beautiful. It's a beautiful thing. Stop bluing. Focus on the beans. Don't focus on the blue. There we go. All right, 84.32, so <laughs> dope. So we got like 98%. 98% product return. All right, the burrs are all cleaned. The grinder's ready to go. We got the beans ground. We're ready for the Chemex. So I like Chemex coffee. That's my go-to. And we're not going to get any of the off flavors from all the stuff that was previously gunked up up in there. So now we can enjoy this nice clean cup of coffee. So I appreciate you sticking with me. Like and subscribe. See you on the next one. Peace.